Well, good morning from Cottage Charmstead. I'm Rebecca and I'm out in the garden bright and early this morning because it's going to be up to 90 degrees by lunchtime today. So I'm trying to beat the heat out here and get some of our harvest in. So as you can see, I've already started harvesting out here today. I came out and got our pickles first thing because I'm hoping to can these later today and I wanted to get them off the vine. And I wanted to check on our cucumber vines because I did notice that one of them wilted. I wasn't sure if it was some sort of fungus or bacteria wilt. So far it hasn't spread. From early this week, I removed the infected vine and so I wanted to come out and check on that real quick. I also started on the green bean harvest before I remembered to grab my camera this morning. And this variety that we've been growing the last two years is called Provider, and it totally lives up to its name. I picked a entire heaping bushel basket on Monday, and I'm on track probably to pick the same amount today. So our freezer is gonna be full with what we need to eat. We're probably gonna start selling us some of the excess of the green beans at the downtown farmer's market in Greenville at the Growing Green Family Farms stall and we'll also be selling it through the Clemson Area Food Exchange. So if you're local, that is a place where you can get some of these delicious green beans. So this right here is our green bean row. It is about 18, 17 feet long. And then what we've done since we have wider paths is we planted in the center two rows about four inches apart of green bean seed and that allows the bush plants on each side to kind of flop into the path a little ways so we kind of get two rows in the smaller space right here which produces a ton of green beans for us so let's get picking So the question that we get asked pretty frequently by those that are new to growing green beans is how do you know when they're ready to pick? It's not like a tomato that turns bright red and just like flashes, I am ripe and ready to pick. With green beans, there's actually a little bit of variation and it depends more on your personal preference of how you like to eat your green beans um, than on there being a perfect moment to pick it. I personally like green beans that have a little bit more bean to them so they start having a little bit of the bumps where the beans on the inside start showing. So that's my personal preference. So I like them to have a little bit more snap to them. Uh, other people like them at more of the filet stage. And this is more of like your French green bean where they're thinner, they don't have a whole lot of bean, it's more pod than anything else. And so this is perfectly acceptable to pick. What I have found is these don't last as long in the fridge though. So if you want to eat these, eat these fresh um, or freeze them right away. Um, the ones that have a little bit more meat on them are ones that usually last a couple of days in the fridge for me. And I also find that they freeze just fine as well, especially if I pre-snap them. So I did mention that it's gonna be like 90 degrees today and it's already in the 80s out here right now this morning and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and that is on purpose. First off, this is a sun shirt that helps block the UV rays because I'm fair skinned and I would sunburn pretty quickly. But second reason I'm wearing this is because I'm harvesting beans. 
bean leaves can irritate people with sensitive skin and you can get what's called bean rash and it'll be a red rash it'll be all along your forearms if you rub against the green bean leaves for any length of time so i always make sure that i am wearing long sleeves when i am reaching in and wrestling these plants trying to find the green beans so that you'll end up with a itchy rash the rest of the day And just like that, we have another basket full of green beans that I'll be taking inside. I'll be probably freezing another gallon bag or two for our freezer before we start selling them, but there are plenty coming off the vine to share. So if you're local, be sure to check out the downtown Greenville Farmer's Market in upstate South Carolina, as well as the Clemson Area Food Exchange to get your hand on some of these delicious green beans. Well, happy growing friends, and we'll catch you next time.